What's up guys? I am painting some guitars right now and I thought I'd show you a little bit of what I'm doing. I'm uh I'm watching Doomsday Preppers, by the way. Do you guys watch Doomsday Preppers or are any of you preppers? Let me know. That would be insane to know and maybe you could save me a spot in your shelter. <laughs> um, anyways, this is what I'm working on right here. This is another Frankenstrat. It's the black and white one I've been using. You're going to see it in tomorrow's video for uh, DOA, the next song on Van Halen 2. <laughs> I'm gonna have a video a day until the end of the month. Um, each song I'm gonna cut up into two pieces, so maybe even more than that. Maybe I'll have th uh, two videos in some days. I'm about to throw this green layer over this. Uh, this is the black and white guitar I've been playing in DOA, and it'll be up coming up in Women in Love. Today I actually went over, I took a, a fucking chisel and slapped into it a couple times, sanded it into the edges, kind of gave it the relic look. So I beat it up a little bit, hit it with some sandpaper in a couple spots. It actually looks badass. If you've ever seen Eddie's original Frankenstrat, he um, he played it for like a year or something when it was in its black and white phase. So you could see it's got chips and dings and it's all messed up. And then he added the red on. So where the red ends and you can see the black and white showing through, Some in some spots you can see like the wood showing through even, but then the red covers up that. So. That's what I was going for with this one. I wanted to beat it up a little bit, do something a little bit different because I don't want to have a bunch that are all, you know, I don't have any Frankenstrats that are the same yet, but uh, this one's going to be special to me. Um, my friend on here, Chuckles, uh, Charles, Chuck, Chucky, whatever you want to call him, um, he has a blue Frankenstrat. He's the first person I had seen that had a, an alternate color Frankenstrat. So this one's going to be the green brother to his. Stay tuned, my friends. Can you guys tell what color I've been painting? I hate when I forget to put my painting shoes on. Look at this. I'm now green. Uh, my hands. People should wear gloves if you guys are going to paint guitars too. Um, but I'm going to jump in the shower right after this anyways. I don't know if this is toxic or not, but this is ridiculous. I can't believe this. Both sides. Look at the back of this hand. <laughs> to show you how to install a bigger pickup into a EVH gear Wolfgang. What's up guys? Van Halen two month is over. So back to the regular grind of painting some guitars and doing all kinds of random crazy guitar stuff. Here's some of the stuff I'm working on right now. This is for my my little stepdaughter, Serena. This thing is gonna be super dope. I'm gonna add some polka dots and a bunch of crazy stuff on that. I'll show you more on that pretty soon. This is a Wolfgang I'm working on. I actually just had to square out this pickup. You can see this pickup hole is squared on the corners. This one's rounded on the corners because that's how they come. But I'm doing something very special with this Wolfgang. I'm going to be throwing an EMG pickup in it, doing some blood splatter on it, all kinds of crazy stuff. More on that soon. Some of you may have seen this in my new videos for Beautiful Girls, uh, the last song in Van Halen month. Check it out. It's not done yet. I still have some finishing touches. I need to mount this. Uh, this is a lipstick container from my fiance. I also am painting up a pickup to go into the neck position, green cover, kind of like this one. The Bumblebee has a yellow one. Um, I just found, I actually ripped this pickup out. I put it into the purple Frankenstrat that I painted recently. So it's a piece of junk. This is a Squire. I'm going to throw this white pickup back in it. This is another, just an old cheap white pickup I had around. Um, I'll have a bit longer video on this showing this guitar in full very soon. Let's go into the booth 
And here you could see I just painted, this is one of the neck pickup cover for the purple and blue um, Frankenstrat. I'm gonna actually do a little bit of splattered blue paint on it since it's purple and blue. The guitar may, might as well make the pickup purple and blue. That's gonna look awesome. This is the green neck pickup cover for the green Frankenstrat you just saw. Look at this, all the blood. You could see I've been doing tests of different types of blood paint, how, how I, I like it splattered, and I got it all over the walls inside the paint booth. So it's looking a little crazy. Here we have a nice little lizard in my backyard. What's up, little buddy? Let's see if I could touch him. It's pretty big. Yeah, he's not gonna let me. He's gonna run away. I love lizards. I'm out here painting. This is the back of that blood guitar I posted today. I'm using the back as a test for the polka dot guitar that's in the garage that we just looked at. I'm going to paint this thing solid purple, and then I have a, a, a round label I'm going to be using as my polka dot tape. So I'm going to get this thing pure purple today, then tomorrow or the next day I'll come back, I'll apply the little round label stickers, paint it with another color, and then I should be left with some purple polka dots on this guitar. So this is kind of a test to s test the adhesive on those labels I bought, see if Avery's products hold. If time permits today, I have a few more hours to work on guitars tonight. I'm going to be installing this black Iron Age kill switch. It's got a green LED right in this pick, uh, pick guard here of the green Frankenstrat. So shout out to Iron Age accessories for that one right there. And then over here, we got a Tessie kill switch. So this one is another company. They, they make a purple anodized with a purple light. That's going to go up in the purple and blue Frankenstrat I recently did. And then, if I've got enough time, busting the Haxon back out. I've uh, done quite a bit of sanding. I've got this back quite a bit thinner, and I've rounded off this contour. I've rounded off that quite a bit. Got a lot of uh, heel access now, so no problem getting up to that last fret up there. I think I'm going to be pulling this thing apart pretty soon, and... Getting it ready for some real paint, some purple paint. I'm very excited about this thing. I've got a couple how-to videos. I'm about to actually uh, do the blood on this Wolfgang back here. So I'm going to show a video of how I like to do the blood. And um, I'm going to throw it up on YouTube. I'm going to be doing a lot more how-to videos, like tutorial style, like I used to do. I used to have a lot of good popular videos on there, on YouTube, showing how to work on your guitars, how to install pickups and all this kind of stuff. So... I'm going to start doing more long form stuff like that because I'm always showing these projects I'm working on, but I don't show exactly how I'm doing these things. So I want to kind of help you guys out and show you the process a little closer, document it all. And uh, I also have another video where my acoustic guitar does not have these side markers for the frets to let you know where you're at. So I drilled some out, I bought some and I installed them and I got the video. It's exporting up there right now. That's going to be on YouTube in a couple days. So go subscribe, Guitar Guts. Uh, one last crazy project I'm about to start going pretty soon, and uh, this one's a little top secret, so I'm going to be pretty brief about it, but I've got two, I've got another neck for this too, I've got two of these Les Paul, cheap little Epiphone Les Pauls around, I'm thinking uh, I might have to cut them up, let's just say, let's put them together, you know what I mean? Uh, more on that very soon, it's going to be crazy, I'm not going to tell you everything yet because I might change my mind, but I've, I've got some insane ideas coming up. There's a big splatter right there. So you can see behind it <laughs> looks like Dexter's uh, one of his like little murder booths, huh? That's when I did the Wolfgang and some other tests, but I'll show, I figured I'd show you guys how I do this. I'm doing a longer, uh, I did, when I did the body, I filmed it and I kind of did like instructions how to do it. So if you guys want to try it out, I'm going to have a full video on YouTube showing how I do it. You should wear a mask whenever you spray. 
but since I'm talking to the camera, you won't be able to understand me, so, and this, this is going to be super quick, um, check this out, I'm just doing a little face of it, I figured I'd leave the hardware and part of the tuners exposed, so I'm going to get blood on those, it's just going to make it all match even better, so, first thing I do is I take like a plastic cup like this, I get my spray paint, I spray it in here while it's still liquid, I just kind of fling it at my target. So, zoom me down, get you a little closer. Need a little bit more. Anything. Let's get a little closer for you guys. There we go. That looks pretty cool. And then what I got down here are some brushes. Well, I thought I had some brushes. Here we go. And there's another little trick I like to do too. Spray some more into this little cup. You take a brush, put it into that liquid paint, and then you take your finger on the brush and you just kind of flick it. It adds a bunch of small little splatters. Check it out, it looks awesome. There we have it. Super sick. Hey, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click right up here, my little icon. Also follow me on Instagram. That's where a lot of these videos are from. I'm on there all the time showing little behind the scenes stuff and that's what these videos are. These weekly vlogs are going to be um, clips from what I've done in the last week. So uh, check out some of my other videos and thanks for watching. See you guys next time.